Well, good morning, and I'm happy to be here. Um, hopefully what you see today is a representation and an indicator of how interested U.S. universities are of having Canadian students come and join our campuses. Our jobs as, as higher education admissions professionals is to go out there and find the right mix of students to bring to our campuses. In the U.S., we're not just looking at academics, but we're also building communities. And, and you'll see that represented in our, in our admissions processes. And for us, we want to make sure that we're highlighting you know, student bodies that are able to debate each other, to, to challenge each other. Critical thinking is right at the hallmarks of what we do in the U.S. university experience. As guidance counselors, you're in a, you're in a tough spot, right? The U.S. provides some challenges. Um, one of the things here in Toronto this fall, you guys are getting a new restaurant, and it's, a, it's an export of the United States. It's called Cheesecake Factory. And Cheesecake Factory is well-loved, but it has one fatal flaw. The menu is 20 pages long. And there are probably a thousand items on that menu, and it, it can cause paralysis as people go through trying to figure out, what do I want? And, and, and I think there's a good parallel to this in the U.S. educational system, right? There are 4,000 universities available to choose, and as counselors, you're going to have students coming with all different schools off that list. Each of us has different application processes, different application deadlines, different things that we highlight in this, in this process, um, which is why events like today are so important, right? This is your opportunity, instead of just trying to hunt around a website, that you can talk face to face. Get to understand what are we looking for, what, what's unique about a campus, how do we structure our process, and, and what are the relative weights, right? You know, you can, you can go online and see average GPAs, you can look, go online and see average test scores, but what level of importance does that have in this, this process? Um, you're, those are answers are going to be varied by the school, and it's important for you to, to make those connections, and we obviously want to share it, right, because we want to make sure we have the, the right students applying to us. I think overall, one of the things I want you to know is that when your students apply to our schools, the person reading that application, you know, that, that first person who goes through and does that you know, front to back read knows this educational background. We know the differences. You know, we, we specialize in bringing students from across the world and therefore need to develop those skills within our own staffs to understand that the grading scale is a little bit different in Ontario than it is down in the United States, right? Understanding how different course choices are going to be represented on a transcript, right? Those are things that we need to develop our own expertise and we need to develop the relationships with you. Um, to make sure that that information gets carried over. So that when that person goes through, they read that application, they make a recommendation, and then they bring it perhaps to an admissions committee. And they, they, they go and they pitch the applicant saying, you know, this is what, you know, I learned about this applicant, this is their educational background, this is what's unique about them. They need to have that background knowledge, right? And, and, and that's part of the reason you see so many of my colleagues around the room today. When we look at the application, and pretty much every school, it's going to start off with two factors, right? It's going to look at what that, that transcript shows us, both in terms of the courses they've been exposed to, but also how they performed and how that performance may have changed over the four years, right? We're looking for some of those trends. We're also going to be looking at things like standardized testing, so SAT scores or ACT scores, and how does that match up with what we see on the transcript, right? And that often starts the tenor of how we go through the rest of the application, right? And, and then we go looking for more, you know, personal characteristics and, and their activities and involvements. Because as I mentioned earlier, for most of our campuses, we're residential places. I worry about who your roommate's going to be, you know, how you're going to challenge each other in class. And so we start looking for those identifiers in their essays, right? We look for those things in, in the activities they've been involved in outside of class. We ask for letters of recommendation because we want to know what their teachers say about how they perform, right? So I may know that they, they got a mark of a 93 in a per certain class, but what do they do to earn that grade? How do they participate? How do they work with others? You know, what are those things that really make them stand out within the classroom? And that's how we go through this process by which we evaluate our applications and I identify those we're going to offer acceptance to. Um, for students, right, they're going to be going through this process and they might be using guidebooks, they might be using websites, but encourage them to reach out to us, right, and to make a personal connection so they can get their answers, you know, to get the, their questions answered. 
You know, we want to make sure they're making the best choice for themselves. It's not about me just going and, you know, checking off a box for another Canadian, right? I want the students who are coming who have a desire to be there and going to make the most of it. And I don't want to ever want a student to show up on our campus in the fall of their freshman year and be surprised, right, for it to not match what they, they were looking for. And so, you know, that's why this process can see, sometimes seem like it starts early, right, in, the, in May of, of this grade 11 year. Um, but for them, it's really about doing some searching, understanding about themselves, what they're looking for, what's important, and how do they find a campus that's going to best fit them. Um, last thing I, I want to mention is that there are going to be different factors that play even within different schools. And we have some great speakers here going to talk about those things, things like athletics, things like different academic programs, you know, that the application review process isn't just standard one size fits all. You know, even within my school where I have seven unique different programs, everything from engineering to liberal arts and business and fine arts, each of those types of programs requires a different review. Obviously, we look more deeply at quantitative, you know, coursework for the business school students versus for the fine arts students, I'm looking at actual artistic portfolio. And those are things that, you know, will vary even within the boundaries of a single um, college or university. And so you'll start hearing some of these things and understanding how you can best guide students through this. So good luck. I look forward to, to meeting and talking with you guys a little bit later today. But thanks for having us.